Hey everyone, welcome to this Tuesday episode of SpaceX in the News. Happy to have you back here with us today. For those of you, if this is your first time, welcome. My name's Kevin. Congratulations, you know how to pick them because this is an exciting week for SpaceX. Elon has promised us a Starship presentation this Thursday, first one in a couple years, so exciting times ahead. In fact, SpaceX has been pretty busy prepping for this presentation. Elon likes to have pretty things in the background during his speeches. Down there in Starbase, Texas, on Saturday, SpaceX crews moved Booster 4 from its holding position closer to the launch pad, where it was shortly after lifted up and plopped down on the orbital launch table. Starship Gazer is back at it and providing some excellent views of the event, including that shiny engine shielding for the outer 20 Raptor engines. She's all dressed up and ready for the ball. Now you may have noticed that they used a crane to do this. I'm not sure why. Clearly the orbital launch tower just isn't ready to do any heavy lifting with boosters yet. However, sometime between now and Thursday at 8 p.m., they're going to have to use those chopsticks, those booster catching arms to lift SN20 and stack it on booster four because there are no cranes down there big enough to do that job for them like they did several months back. But as soon as they got booster four on the orbital launch table, they've been testing out the tower Starship quick disconnect arm that supplies fuel and electricity to the upper stage, but also utilizes the arm to stabilize the fully stacked vehicle. So that's where we're at right now. They're using the arm as their own personal claw machine to win the prize of a Starship booster. Once they get it all figured out, hooked up, and ready to go, they'll be using those chopsticks to lift SN20 up and over. Starship Gazer here providing a view of the chopsticks ball hitch equipment that's going to be used to attach it to SN20 for its lifting. Now, on Saturday, Lab Padres cams captured this still of the Inspiration 4 crew buzzing the tower. Clearly, they too are also very excited for this presentation. I want some fun! Again, the presentation is this Thursday at 8 p.m. Central Time, and SpaceX will be live streaming it. In other news, SpaceX did release the full tracking footage that they got of the CSG-2 mission. If you remember back to that, that was, that was really cool. We were all sad, real sad we didn't get to see the thing in its entirety. Well, SpaceX got our six, bro. Check it out. If that's not some satisfying space porn, I don't know what is. Also, Launcher twatted that they signed a three-launch contract with SpaceX to help deploy CubeSats for the rideshare missions. Their first orbital tug will launch on Transporter 6 in October of 2022. But this new contract covers 2023 and beyond. And these launcher vehicles are designed to help these smaller payloads reach their desired orbits. Now, for a small fee, between eight dollars and $25,000 per kilogram. And now it's time for today's honorable mention. NASA has chosen Lockheed Martin to build their Mars Ascent Vehicle, or MAV, to return Perseverance's surface samples from Mars. With a potential value of $194 million, this endeavor is set to become the first rocket fired off another planet, and quote, is a crucial part of a campaign to retrieve samples collected by NASA's Perseverance rover and deliver them to Earth for advanced study. And once these cache containers reach Mars orbit, they'll be captured by the European Space Agency's Earth Return Orbiter spacecraft sometime early or mid next decade. But that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks so much for tuning in. Shout out to my locals community supporting the channel. Until Thursday, Godspeed.